Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to give my review on a product that I've been testing out for a while now. It's none other than the Rare Beauty's Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer, which is also a SPF 20 and is broad spectrum. I've heard so many good things about this product and I can't wait to give you all the details. Before we dive in, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you're always informed and you do not miss out on any tutorials or any reviews. So here it is, the Rare Beauty's Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. I picked this up in the shade 40N. The packaging is so simple and elegant. Like this is what I love about Rare Beauty products. Now let's talk about what Rare Beauty claims the tinted moisturizer can do. On their website, they've mentioned that this foundation gives a sheer coverage, a natural finish, and also has SPF 20, and it's a broad spectrum SPF. It's quite a multitasking tinted moisturizer, don't you think? Does it live up to the hype? Let's find out. I've already prepped my skin with a moisturizer and a sunscreen, so we're just gonna dive into the application directly of this moisturizer. Now since this is a tinted moisturizer, I really didn't want to use any beauty blender so I'm going to be trying to blend this on my face with my fingers. I'm going to be taking a pump of it on my hand, just like one drop. Now the texture feels lightweight and it very effortlessly blends onto my skin. Now the coverage is like pretty, I would say on a sheer side, but I think it's buildable, which is like perfect for those no makeup, makeup look days. I still have like one lot of it left, so I'm going to try to use up everything. With hardly one pump, I'm just like done with my overall face. Definitely does an amazing job, especially when it comes to uh, covering up all the little bit of pesky spots and also covering up your pores. It's like a perfect no makeup makeup look kind of tinted moisturizer. Even for a tinted moisturizer, it has pretty good coverage, I would say. It's given a very nice dewy, natural dewy look onto my face. Now, I'm going to be keeping this foundation on like for a couple of hours on my face to see if it's you know how it settles onto my skin for a longer period of time so i have combination skin so i'm gonna be like checking my t-zone a lot because this is a tinted moisturizer I'll keep you updated on how it looks and feels on my skin it's been a couple of hours and you can still see that my skin is natural and radiant i'm really surprised by the way it's holding up onto my skin especially like i mentioned around my t-zone i thought that it will give me a lot of oiliness because I tend to be oily around my T-zone but no, it's just holding up onto my skin pretty well. Let's break down the pros and cons of the Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. The pros are lightweight and a breathable formula, the natural and a sheer coverage for a fresh look. The SPF 20 is a great bonus for a sun protection. It didn't settle into my fine lines or create any patches and it also did not make me feel oily is that it might not provide the full coverage that a lot of you might be looking out for like a full makeup look so here are my final thoughts if you're in the market looking out for a lightweight tinted moisturizer then rare beauty's positive light tinted moisturizer is worth buying it's perfect for those minimal natural makeup look days when you just want a minimal makeup and a natural finish Thank you so much for joining me today. I really hope that you found this video useful. If you've tried this product, do let me know in the comments down below. And if you want me to review any particular product, then do also mention that down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more beauty reviews. And see you soon in my next video.